Hi, I'm Patrick, and today I'm going to provide you with information on the January 2022 real estate market for Irmo, South Carolina. If you're thinking of buying or selling an Irmo and want to know what you can expect based on the data, hopefully this local market information will help. We're going to cover the total number of closings in January, how many of these homes closed for more than list price, and the average over list amount buyers were willing to pay for these properties. 86 properties closed in Irmo last month compared to 100 properties in January 2021. Inventory has remained pretty consistent within the last year. However, Irmo has seen significant appreciation. Of the 86 properties that closed, eight were new construction. The average days on market was 17 and 54 of the 86 properties went under contract in seven days or less. The most interesting data is the average amount buyers were willing to pay over list price. 55 of the 86 properties that closed in January went for more than list. This is a strong indicator that we continue to be in a seller's market and buyer demand in this area is high. Let's break down the average amount over list for each price point. In the $100,000 price point, the homes that sold higher than they were listed for went for an average of $8,762 over list. The highest went for $23,000 over list price. In the $200,000 price point in Irmo, the homes that went higher than list price went for an average of $12,218 over list. The highest a home sold for over list was $50,000, which really pulled up that average. And finally, the average price point for homes $300,000 and up that sold for higher than list went for an average of $9,206 over list price. The highest sold, sold for $17,100 over list. For sellers, this should give you an idea of what you can expect if you have a home that is compelling for buyers, which comes down to three things, appropriate pricing, condition, and location. Buyers, I don't want you to be discouraged by these numbers. If you're looking to buy in Columbia, my hope is that this data will provide you with the information so that you know what to expect in a competitive market. That being said, the market changes regularly, so it depends on factors such as inventory, buyer demand, and spe at specific price points, and of course, interest rates as well. As always, if you're looking to buy or sell or just curious about the value of the home, I help buyers and sellers across the Midlands at all price points. We also have a team in Charleston, South Carolina, if you're interested in that area. Area or the Midlands, feel free to reach out. I'd be happy to help.